Hey guys, it's Jamie Pfeffer back with you again for another weekly pick a card reading. And in this reading, we are asking what is coming into your life this week and what do you need to know to have the best possible week that you can have? If that sounds good to you, you're definitely gonna wanna stick around. If you're new to my channel, I do wanna wish you a very warm welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. My name is Jamie Pfeffer and I am a psychic, a medium, an intuitive, an empath, card reader, coach, and a whole lot of other things. If you want to receive messages from your higher self, I do wanna invite you to go down below and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're someone that's been here for a while and you're looking for a way that you can support me, I have a PayPal donation link down below in the box. These videos are currently being done and shown free of charge. I am trying to get to my next milestone with the channel, which is reaching a thousand subscribers. So if you know anybody that might be interested in my information, would you please pass along my content? Also, I have about 10 meditation albums that can be purchased and most of them are under $10 each. So it means a lot to me to have your support and it is really important as an empath and a highly sensitive person and a woman in today's society to let you know that I need help too. I can't do everything alone. So if you are able to offer any type of support to me, whether it's financial or some other means, I would greatly appreciate it. Now that we got that out of the way, let's look at your choices for this week's pick a card reading. Okay, now taking a deep cleansing breath in. And clearing out any energy that we don't want to come into this reading. Look at the stacks in front of you. This is pile A and this is pile B and here is pile C. See if any of these stones or card stacks are sticking out to you. And if you need more time, feel free to pause the reading. And then you can go down below into the timestamps, which are in the description box, find out where your stack is, and you can go to that and get your reading. Okay? I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so stack A. For anyone that chose stack A, you chose the pile with this beautiful rainbow moonstone. Rainbow moonstone has so many benefits to it. It's a great stone for accessing divine feminine energy and wisdom. It's a great stone for females or for feminine energy in general. It can really help to increase your intuition. I will also say though that it helps with patience. So if you have been struggling with something or you feel like something isn't moving fast enough, I know that this pertains to me, <laughs> Rainbow Moonstone is a great stone for you to use. It's also very soothing and it's stress relieving. Most people that use it say that they find it to be very calming. So I will put a link down below in the description box in the event that you would like to get yourself your own piece of Rainbow Moonstone. All right, so I got two cards, but the first card I have hidden and it is a Healing Crystals crystal card. So I'm gonna start off with that. Beautiful, okay, so your first card is Rainbow Fluorite, and that is really a coincidence because we had Rainbow Moonstone and now we have Rainbow Fluorite. So having the full spectrum of the rainbow is incredible. You can run rainbow energy through your aura. It has a very healing quality, and also I'm feeling like you're gonna be in a high vibration next week, or if you're not, you can use the color of the rainbow you can run that through your energy field to feel better, to uplift you. And just like Moonstone, Rainbow Fluorite will help you with intuition. The other things that it will help you with, though, is stability and clarity. So being clear on what it is that you really want in your life. And that might sound crazy, but I know for me personally, there are times when I'm not clear on what I want to do. There are times when I'm not clear on what my next step is. 
And so I know for me that that worry often underlies like this critical voice in my head. So it's sometimes I just need to be shown that I'm worrying or that I'm experiencing this critical voice because then I can, I'm conscious of it and I can make the decision to unplug from it or to step back from it. And your affirmation for the week, wow, this is so beautiful, especially if you pair it with the rainbow moonstone. My connection to my higher self keeps me calm and focused. So that's perfect. You know, if you are recognizing this inner critic or let's say you have indecisiveness or, you know, low self-esteem or low confidence, like maybe you're trying something new and you just haven't built up the confidence yet. If you connect to that part of yourself that is your higher self, those things are going to go away because your higher self has all the confidence that you can ever need. Let's look at your next card. Ooh, okay. So this is definitely a confirmation of what I'm doing right now, and that's about divination. So it says, embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. So if there is something that you're unsure about next week, I would guide you to definitely set an intention, make sure that you're making time for yourself to do the type of divination things that you prefer to do. If you are someone that wants to get into card reading or to, to you aren't sure what type of divination, I want to encourage you to think about setting up a coaching session with me. I did a lot of things to teach myself how to learn to divinate or to receive messages. So I have a lot of knowledge that I would love to share. And um, also, I have a lot of meditations, and meditation will help you. Meditation is like the quickest route to enhancing your psychic abilities. So think about that. I just, I really noticed this, and I have some ideas of things that you could do every day to help increase your divination. So that is it for your reading this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, please make sure that you've subscribed if you aren't subscribed yet, and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye. Hello to everyone who chose stack B. And if you chose this stack, you chose this gorgeous praseolite, also known as green amethyst stone. This is a wonderful stone that is great for the heart chakra and it connects you to nature. I love the stone because it sometimes looks like this where it has the chevron pattern in it. This is a really good stone for clearing you of any type of disharmonious energies, especially around the, sh the heart chakra. If you selected this stone, I will put a link down below in case you would like to buy yourself a piece. I would suggest placing it on your heart or on your chest and meditating with it there. That would be an amazing way to get some of the benefits of this stone. We are going to start out with your first card. Oh, wow. Okay, so your card is Larimar. Over the next week, you can use the energy of Larimar, which is such a gorgeous stone as well. I happen to have a piece of it right here. Larimar is a very special stone that you can only find in the Dominican Republic. Well, it's only mined in the Dominican Republic, I should say. The properties of Larimar are that it is nurturing, it helps you release, and it soothes you. So I'm really hearing a lot about, I don't know if any, any one of you are doing inner child work. It seems that if you are, you are speaking to yourself in a nicer way. So your guidance for next week is to continue this work. It's really helping you. It's helping you to heal trauma and core wounds and different things that you have had in your emotional body for a long time. So keep up the good work there. If you do find that you get triggered, I mean, if you look at the Larimar, you can see it just looks like the ocean. I mean, it looks like the Caribbean Sea. If you've ever been to the Bahamas or anything, I mean, you get these like just gorgeous turquoisey colors there. So just imagine being there and floating in that water, and that is really going to help you next week. Wow. Okay. So if you have some changes going on, you can tell yourself the affirmation, I am calm and I embrace change. So many of us have learned that change is very painful and nothing good ever comes of it. The truth is that while it is uncomfortable, I can speak for myself personally, I don't think I've really ever experienced any growth without experiencing change first. So 
It's one of those things. If you can soothe yourself and nurture yourself through it though, you will not only be building up your inner child and making change easier for you in the future, you will also be able to go after and imp or receive the manifestations that you want. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's look at your other card for next week. Ooh, wisdom. Okay, and so we've got some more greenery in here. We've got a lot of green. So this is, I was really feeling like you need to get into nature, that, that benefits you. And your card is wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call up your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. So if you are facing some kind of a challenge next week, your guidance is to go inside and meditate. You may be tempted to look for answers in other people, but what you're being guided to do is tap into your own wisdom. And you can call on the energy of the owl for that. That is it for this quick reading for you. Also, I would love it if you resonate with your message to please leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you. And also, if there is a type of pick a card reading that you would like to see, I would love to know what it is. Please leave a comment down below and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye. Hi, Stack C, and welcome to your reading. So if you chose this stack, you chose this gorgeous piece of apophyllite. Apophyllite is a very clearing cleansing stone. It's amazing. So you can actually just put a piece of apophyllite in a room and it can soak up the negativity. So this one has a lot of flash in it too. You might want to check out stack A. I'm noticing some rainbows in here and stack A had a lot about rainbows. So I'm also noticing on this piece, there's like this special triangle right here that I've never noticed before. Oh, it's really hard to see in the video, but I think you can see it. So, um, yeah, you might want to pay attention to triangles or you actually, when you're meditating this week, imagine a triangle being over you. And this this is masculine energy right here. If it was a downward triangle, it would be feminine energy. So this is so cool. I'll put a link below in case you would like to buy a piece of apophyllite. And then let's see what your guidance is for this week. So we're gonna start with these healing crystal cards and this is pretty gorgeous. So first out is emerald and the attributes of emerald are prosperity, healing, and hope. So I feel like you might wanna check out stack B because stack B, we talked a lot about the heart and the emerald is very much about the heart. It's about opportunities, it's about healing, it's Archangel Raphael coming through for you to help you heal. And I really feel like you're getting close to a completion of something in your life and it is going to manifest in your heart being healed. I just happen to see this. So this is green aventurine right here. You also got two of these crystal cards. The other groups only got one. So your next card is celestite, which is a fantastic crystal. It is very well known for helping to connect with the energetic realms. It can help you to express yourself or express your divinity. It can help with channeling. It can help with mediumship. It can help with psychic abilities. And it can also help you get clarity. Celestite is a very soothing, very, very gentle stone. So if you are highly empathic and it's difficult for you to be around harsh energies, if you have a hard time and you don't know, you know, which energy is safe and which energy isn't, celestite would be a great crystal for you to get and just start spending time with that crystal to develop an energetic resonance with that. Gorgeous. And your affirmation for celestite is eternal light fills my being. So you may want to write down that affirmation and carry it with you next week and then you can open it up and look at it if something seems to be threatening you, threatening your being. Also, the light. You can use the light like a pillar through, through your body and through your energetic body to clear and cleanse yourself. Your next card is music. Okay, so music is another thing that's going to factor in for you next week. And it says, listen carefully, for there may be a message in the music that you hear. 
Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies to your door. So this second deck I'm using is the Oracle of Fairies deck by Karen Kay. So that's why they're all referring to fairies. I definitely think it would be good for you if you can get anywhere where trees are present or grass for some grounding. Definitely, definitely use music if you need to lift your spirit, if you need to clear and cleanse your spirit. You could do a, a one-two punch with the apophyllite and then listening to music. I know for me as an empath, I have to be careful with the music that I listen to at certain times. If I'm not in a good space emotionally, listening to a really, really sad song or even movie, watching a sad movie or whatever, it can really kind of send me even farther out of whack. So in that case, I would suggest getting the celestite. And I don't know why, but I'm actually hearing like a lullaby. So you may be having problems sleeping. If you are having problems sleeping, music would be a good thing for you to do. And listen to something that's very calm, like a lullaby. You can also calm your inner child. If you're not familiar with that concept, I've got another video about that that I did a couple weeks ago that you can find on my channel. And also make sure that you listen to the lyrics of any songs that you hear, especially if they're like random and then all of a sudden you're like, wow, that seems like it's talking to me. If you feel that, it is talking to you. That's your intuition talking to you. So real quick before I let you go, I'm also, I've just been noticing this piece of azurite. So this is a piece of azurite and azurite is wonderful for the third eye. You can see just how potent and like pigmented it is it's gosh this camera it's very very it's a very pigmented almost indigo color but it's got a little bit more like purple to it so azurite is a great stone for mediumship so i'm wondering if you're interested in mediumship or if you feel like maybe you're receiving signs from someone or if you've been thinking about someone that you've lost if you have azurite is a great stone to help connect with them Azurite is also an amazing stone for your third eye, for opening your third eye. And we open our third eye in a variety of ways, but meditation is the best one that I know about. So you are being called to notice next week that you are going to be experiencing prosperity, healing, and hope you are also going to be experiencing angelic communication, expression, and clarity, receiving clarity. Cleanse what you need to cleanse so that you can let these amazing gifts come in and pay attention to music in terms of signs and also use music as a vehicle of uplifting your soul. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this quick reading. If you did, please go down below and leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And I would also love to know if there are any videos that you would like me to do a pick a card reading on. If there's a certain topic that you're interested in, please feel free to leave that down below. Okay, I will talk to you again soon. Bye.